Good afternoon, everyone. I was just about to start with my usual good morning, but it's definitely not the morning anymore. I've had one of those days where I just have not stopped. It's currently about two o'clock, and it's literally the first time I've even had a chance to sit down and pick up the camera and say hello to you guys. I have been on back-to-back -back meetings and back-to-back -back calls all morning, which you wouldn't think January would be that busy of a month in terms of like calls and meetings and things like that. But actually, it's quite a big behind the scenes month I feel like is the best way to describe it. I feel like because a lot of people are hibernating, things aren't as busy, it's a great month just to like take stock, get ready for the year ahead, kind of like plan what's going to be coming, plan what's going to be happening and let me just tell you there's some really really exciting things that are going to be happening in 2023. So I am in a great mood. I'm also in a great mood because I am so happy with how my skin is looking. It's been about two weeks since I had my hydrofacial and I feel like the results are just paying for themselves. I'm so chuffed with how my skin is looking, so happy with how my kind of complexion is. And let me tell you now, I literally only have the pixie skin tint on my skin right now. Like two weeks ago, I could never have done that. I was layering up and packing up with concealer and foundation. I was feeling so insecure. And the pixie skin tint, I would say, is not even as heavy as like a BB cream. So it's no foundation, not even a B cream. It's like the lightest tinted moisturizer ever. So I've literally just got the tiniest bit of concealer under my eyes and the pixie skin tint on my face. And I'm feeling really, really good. So, so happy with the results of the facial and so happy to be feeling confident in my skin again. I'm surprised I'm in such a good mood today, to be perfectly honest, because it is is grim today. The weather is absolutely horrendous. We've had about a week's worth of rain, just constant relentless rain here in the UK. And as if January blues couldn't get any harder, add a week's worth of rain and you've got the UK here in January. It's been so, so miserable, but I'm picking myself up, having some very exciting meetings. Skin's looking great, so I'm feeling good. So this is my current view. I feel like the camera always makes it look lighter than it actually is, but especially in kind of this half of the kitchen, it is so, so dark at the moment. It is just gray. It is just miserable. It's the kind of rain where it's like horizontal rain as well. It is not a vibe at all. And the garden is just looking so depressing right now. Like it just looks so miserable and wintry and I'm just desperate to get out there and start prepping it for spring. But I've got to wait until the rain relents. But as you can see, I've had a few deliveries arrive this morning. I've placed a little bit of a home order on Amazon, which I'm really excited about because we've actually got some really, really exciting things happening here in the house this next coming month. I feel like the kind of progress has kick-started again. We're ready for some new renovations. We're ready for some new changes. And it really is a process when it comes to having a house, just getting it to the point where you're like happy with and getting it to the point where it feels the most you. I've got a very big furniture delivery that's going to be arriving this week, which I'm so, so excited about. And I feel like my main focus at the moment, now that I've kind of like got my dressing room to a point I'm happy with, obviously you saw the bedroom furniture with my new bedroom reveal at the start of this month. And I feel like now my focus is kind of back down here here again in the room that we spend the most of our time in, so the kitchen living room. We've obviously got this really gorgeous open plan extension, which we're so, so lucky to have. It's where we spend 90% of our time. I absolutely adore it, but definitely there are a few things that I feel like that it can do with some changes and it can do with a little bit of renovating. So we are going to be getting a new sofa, which I am so so excited about this sofa has done us so well don't get me wrong i've loved this sofa i've recommended the sofa to so many people and it has really stood the test of time considering that it's white when i first got this everyone was like oh my goodness are you mad why are you getting a white sofa but this is actually the ikea grand lick sofa and the best thing about it is the cushions are removable the cushion covers it's a modular sofa you can change it up so like this l doesn't have to be here it can be there you can add like extra cushions on it you can take them away um so you can kind of like do whatever you want with it and the best part is that the cushion covers come off and go in the washing machine it is amazing absolutely amazing like we have literally spilt an entire bottle of soy sauce on the sofa 
I have spilt a bottle of Coke on this sofa. Alex's dad spilt some red wine on this sofa and it has all come off no problem at all. So it's been great. But I feel like we're ready for a little bit of an upgrade. I feel like we're ready for a bit more of a fancier sofa and something a little bit more luxurious. So I'm so, so excited that tomorrow we are going to have our new sofa. We have actually placed a snug order and oh my goodness me, wait until you see this sofa. I've seen everyone talking about snug online. I feel like it is just like the sofa brand of the moment. They do the comfiest, squishiest, most gorgeous sofas ever and again they are so practical as well they're modular which i think is just absolutely amazing so you can customize it you can personalize it you can make sure that it fits your space perfectly so if we don't stay in this house forever whichever house we move to wherever we go next we can like change the configuration we can take away a seat or if like the sofa's too small for the space we can add a couple of extra modules make the sofa bigger it's just amazing what you can do and all the girlies on instagram have been talking about snug for years and i feel like it's finally time for me to jump on the bandwagon so we are going to be getting rid of our ikea sofa and saying hello to our new snug sunday cloud i mean the sunday cloud is there anything that sounds snugglier than the sunday cloud i'm so so excited about it it's actually not going to be white we're going for taupe which is obviously still a neutral still very much on brand for me and still very much within my color scheme but a little bit more practical than white ever so slightly so yes i'm really really looking forward to that and i just realized actually i haven't shown you this yet i feel like you would have seen it in the last vlog but i didn't address it so if anyone noticed it congratulations to you but we actually have three bar stools i'm so so happy if you guys remember when we first moved into this place i just bought two we had a whole discussion about which ones to get which ones to order how many and loads of you said just go for two two is fine for now but a couple of people were like be careful because if your bar stools go out of stock if they don't sell them anymore you will be screwed so <laughs> after christmas i decided to place another order of a third bar store i feel like it was time i was like i'm sick of only having two and especially when we have like guests around and stuff there's nothing worse than when everyone can't sit down so picked up a third bar store these are actually from a place called atlantic shopping um and one thing that really annoys me when i show them on the camera is that this wood looks so different to the wood on our surfaces but actually in real life it's a lot more similar so just something to note but yes finally have three bar stools and I feel like it really has made a difference to this space like it just looks a lot more finished and then once we get the new sofa I'm really hoping to kind of have completed this room but back to the Amazon delivery so another thing that I'm really focusing on is the kind of finishing and finessing of areas and one thing that I feel like we've never really gotten around to is finessing our table this table is again from ikea actually i do love my ikea purchases i feel like you can get some really really great ones for it and if you guys remember before christmas we actually had it closed and it was just like a little circle for christmas time when we kind of like had to move the furniture about we obviously had the tree here we decided to expand it and put it a little bit more in front of the bifolds and oh my goodness as soon as we did it we were like why have we not done this sooner we absolutely adore it one problem we do have though if you look closely because of the fact that this has been sun bleached this now looks a different color which is such a shame it just goes to show how different the sun can make things so hopefully this will warm up in time and turn the same color as this but seeing as though we've never really hosted before we were in this house and because the table was so small we never really had like parties or you know dinner things so we never really finished styling our table we never really got lots of like tablescape stuff or anything that we can really decorate the table with cue the amazon orders so i actually went on amazon the other day and thought you know it's about time that we have some really lovely bits for the table some tablescapes some placemats some styling pieces i want to start really beautifying the table so that when we do have dinner parties which we did have quite a few over christmas actually with lots of friends around lots of family and it just kept making me really sad that it wasn't like to the point that i wanted it to be so it's finally time we're gonna start perfecting our table scaping skills so let's unbox what's in these together so let's unbox what's in here together i thought that we could sit here and make the most of this view behind me because this is not going to be here for very much longer but unboxing the first thing from amazon so as i said it's all tablescape stuff it's all things that i'm gonna just like really help me 
with regards to my styling. And the first thing I picked up, I could not believe these when I saw these because the best way to describe these is the best white company dupe I think I've ever, ever seen. I have wanted some of these like rattan kind of placemats for a really, really long time, but they are so expensive. I've looked at so many different retailers. I've looked at White Company, I've looked at m and I've looked at, even Dunelm was quite expensive and they sold them like individually. So the price really racked up. I found these on Amazon and I can't remember the exact price of everything, but everything will be linked down below in the description if you do want to shop any of these pieces. But I remember seeing these and thinking, that's a really, really good price. And part of the reason why I've been really wanting to add these into our kind of like tablescape collection is because we've had square placemats for quite a long time. And I just feel like having a round table with square placemats, I that's gonna sound really weird but it just doesn't work it doesn't vibe there's no cohesion there's no kind of like flow to the table it's just quite like rigid and i just think these are so so lovely they're like really easy to you know like they're super light they're easy to chuck on the table i'm not going to be worried if anyone spills anything on them and obviously it protects the table from your hot plate so i got two packs of these and in it has one two three four five six so i've got 12 of these so that when we have a guests over when we are hosting we've definitely got more than enough for everyone to have a placemat and also to maybe put a couple in the middle if we need any like hot plates or anything like that you know if you're having pickies or sharing or anything like that right next one what do we have in here okay i'm really really excited about these so another thing that i really wanted to add was some linen napkins and i didn't realize but it comes in a little Oh my goodness me, look at how cute that is. It's like a little linen napkin bag for all the linen napkins. That's so, so adorable. But I've been wanting to add some linen napkins into our tablescape for a while, just because obviously they're much more um, eco-friendly and reusable than the kind of like paper ones that you just tear off. Um, and they're just so, so aesthetic. So I got this really lovely like linen um, kind of bisky color. It's so, so beautiful. I feel like it just looks amazing. And I deliberately went for this color because I felt like this would go for all seasons. Like obviously in winter and at Christmas time, I was very much about like the reds and the golds and things like that in january i feel like i'm much more about the kind of like tan colors maybe the greens the browns the like earthy tones in spring that could completely change i know in my trends video i chatted about how blue was going to be a huge trend maybe i can incorporate that in my home in some way as well and then in summer i like to go for the much like brighter tones and i felt like these linen colors will literally go with everything so no matter what runner i have no matter what table linen i have these will be super easy to style with so i believe it was a pack of six Four. Oh, it's only four. Hmm. I might have to do another order just to make sure that we've got lots for when we have guests over. But that's just my favourite thing that it comes in the little bag as well. So it is 100% linen. Oh, they're machine washable. No bleach or softener. Line or machine at dry cool. Warm iron if needed. That's so, so lovely. Let me know if you're someone that irons your napkins because I definitely do not think I'm going to be that person. Okay, next is the item that I am most excited about because I feel like we had this during Christmas and it really helped to complete the table. It also helped to hide a little bit the fact that the middle section doesn't match to the edges and that is a table runner. And I saw this one on Amazon and I fell in love. How gorgeous is that? And it's going to match so perfectly. Oh, actually, these are a little bit cooler in tone but you know what that doesn't bother me linens and beiges and neutrals all go really really well together but i just fell in love with the kind of like herringbone pattern on this i just thought it was so so beautiful and i love the fact that it's got the fringing at the end i think it's just a really really lovely touch so we can style the table up with this this will just live on the table it's the kind of thing that you don't need to take off so your table does always look like it's kind of like ready which is what i really really like about runners i do love a full table linen but i just find a runner a little bit more practical a little little bit more easy to start and less obtruse if that makes sense like I feel like it doesn't take over the whole table so you can still see your lovely table underneath and this was such an amazing price so also picked up that and then lastly it's actually not something for the table I think I might need a little bit of time to unbox this because wow this is packaged well Whew, that was an absolute workout getting this out of the packaging but I think we can all agree it was absolutely worth it for how beautiful these are. Now, I know I've spoken a lot about the garden, about what I'm planning this year, and about the fact that I just really want to be more green-fingered. And I thought, what better place to start than my own 
windowsill. I really love seeing herbs on a windowsill. I think it just looks really cute, really sweet, and it's a really lovely way to be able to add to your cooking with your own green fingers. So I saw this on Amazon and fell in love. It's this really, really gorgeous herb planter. It's got three different sections and obviously the tray underneath. And just look how stunning that looks. I mean, this little like gold kind of brooch is just absolutely beautiful. I love the taupey color of this as well. It's just stunning. So this is going to go up on the windowsill. I'm going to choose what herbs I think we will use the most. Chives will definitely be one of them, but I'm undecided about the other two. So if anyone has any easy to grow herbs, let your girl know. I could really, really use some help, but I just thought this was such a lovely addition into the kitchen and a great way of kind of introducing myself to being more green fingered. just been doing a little bit of a practice at Tablescape with literally just the new in pieces that I picked up and I'm so in love. This runner is just absolutely beautiful. It's like so natural, so stunning. As I said, I don't think I'm going to be at a table linen ironer. So hopefully those creases will just come out by themselves. But I love the fact that it's not too long. So that it means that the person on the end isn't being like knocked with the runner. There's nothing I hate more than when I'm that person sitting on the end and you've got loads of fabric sitting on top of you. So I love the length of these and I love the little fringing detail. I think it's just absolutely stunning. I'm definitely going to need to get more of these napkins. They're just such a gorgeous linen fabric. Love how they look. I've just folded them up in the middle of four and I really, really love the effect that it gives. And actually now that they're on the table, I don't think you could really tell that they are a slightly different color. It's just that this one's slightly warmer. And especially because we've got lots of different kind of neutral tones going on, I feel like they all just blend together really, really nicely. I've just popped my olive tree back in the middle. I probably wouldn't use the actual olive tree as a centerpiece for when we have guests over because there's nothing worse than when you can't see the people opposite you but you can use this tray you can put it in like salt and pepper you can put in coasters for their drinks you can put knives and forks in here i really really love the idea of having a tray in the middle of the table so i'm so happy with this tablescape i feel like it's really really completed the table i'm going to take away the placemats but the runner is going to stay there full time and just really help kind of curate the space and make it look a little bit less unfinished right, goodness me i am fighting for light in this house it's only half three but it's almost pitch black outside already but i realize i haven't actually shown you today's outfit of the day so i thought i would just quickly show you please excuse the blue light behind me whenever it's dark outside for some reason the camera it picks it up it's like really blue um but i am just wearing a super cozy super casual but kind of chic outfit today i'm really really loving it so it's just like a really lovely sweatshirt i picked this up just before christmas you might remember it from vlogmas this is a really gorgeous little suzanne number it's super cute just says a more on it and this to me is like gym chic like this is what the cool girls wear and i'm kind of loving it especially paired with the headband i feel like i'm a cool girl today i'm kind of loving the vibe but i've just paired it with a cute little pair of leggings because one of my main goals that i've set myself this january is to head to the gym more or more specifically to move my body more that's the goal that i have set i've wanted to keep the goal a lot less regimented and kind of routine than maybe some of the goals that I've set myself in the past. I do feel like whenever you set something that's too rigid, when you inevitably don't stick to it, when you inevitably fail, you feel really, really crap about yourself. So I didn't want to set myself anything too specific or regimented, like go to the gym three times, go on a 5k run two times a week. So I knew I wouldn't be able to stick to that. I'm someone that loves routine, but also my routine every single week changes so, so much that I can never really know exactly where I'm going to be or what I'm I'm going to be doing so my main goal is just to move my body more whether that's a gym class whether that's going for a swim whether that's going out for a run or literally just taking myself on a 10 minute walk around the woodland like I literally just wanted to make sure that I could set myself a goal that was really attainable because when it comes to like moving my body or doing workouts or doing exercise sometimes I just physically don't have the time to do a full-on workout to go to the gym do a full exercise routine but 
going out on a 15 minute walk throughout the woodland is so much better than just sitting on my laptop and carrying on for the rest of the evening and I feel like as long as my goal is like achievable and manageable it's going to be so much better in terms of how I am going to hit it this January and how it's just going to help me in terms of my mental health in terms of my physical health in terms of my well-being and those are the main things that I am focusing on this January so that's why I've got such minimal makeup on because I do actually have an exercise class at this evening so as well as keeping it not too strict with regards to what I am going to be doing like day on day week on week one of the goals that I do want to achieve and I do really want to push myself to do is to get better at going at like exercise classes I've never really been much of a class girl as someone who has anxiety I find it a little bit intimidating I like to know what's going to be happening what the plan is what the goal is and I don't like the unknown I don't like going to a class not knowing how hard it's going to be whether I'm going to make myself look silly whether I'm going to be able to do all the exercises how long it's going to be what music's going to be playing what the vibe is I just get a little bit in my head and a little bit too anxious about that but I've got a friend we're going to be going to the gym together really really regularly we're going to be holding ourselves accountable and having a little bit of a social time with it we'll grab a drink afterwards grab a smoothie and make a day of it not a whole day but you know what I mean we'll make a nice experience of it and going with someone I think is a really really great way to kind of hold yourself accountable and make sure that these things aren't as like daunting so I'm really really looking forward to it I've actually booked an exercise class this evening it's a strength and conditioning class and it sounds quite similar to Pilates there's a bit of floor work a bit of like movement lots of music playing I think it's going to be really really nice we booked to go to that this evening so I thought I'll just do minimal makeup wear a super comfy gym outfit ready to go this evening so that I don't have to change later on so that's why I've just been wearing this really nice Cezanne jumper I think this is going to become my gym sweater and especially with the hairband I really do feel like a cool gym girl so I've got that booked this evening and I'm really really looking forward to it so I am back from the gym now and I'm not gonna lie that was a tough workout that was harder than I was expecting it to be but I really really enjoyed myself I didn't really sweat much. It was one of those workouts where I actually didn't come away sweaty, but I came away with my muscles aching. And I actually think that's a big trend of 2023. I've seen a lot of people, especially on TikTok, talking about these no sweat workouts and that they're actually so much better for you. So we did a little bit of Pilates, we did some bar, and then we did a bit of floor work as well. And I felt like it was a really good mix of people there because there were so many different abilities that it meant that put the dishwasher on whilst I was away. I do apologize, but there was such a big mixture of people there that it meant that anything you can do, I didn't feel like self-conscious of, like there was a couple of bits that were like on the floor, you know, I couldn't do because of my knee, um, but I didn't really feel self-conscious. I felt like everyone was just kind of doing their own thing. Um, obviously I couldn't film it whilst I was in there because there was lots of other people in the class that I'm sure would not have wanted to be on camera. Um, but yeah, so proud of ourselves for going. We felt so good afterwards. Grabbed a smoothie on the way home and it was just so nice to have a pal to go with and to have a friend. So I would definitely say if you know anyone that's maybe wanting to get into fitness this year, drop them a text, see if they want to be gym buddies with you because it's really, really lovely to be able to go with a friend. You can see it's very dark behind me. You can also see behind me my little herb pots, which just look absolutely adorable. I've just set them up here and I love how they look. I feel like they're going to really frame this window. They obviously don't have any herbs in them just yet, but very excited to start filling and planting and cultivating my herbs. I really, really love the plant pot. Um, but as I've come home, I had a text from Alex saying that he's had a little bit of a tough day. I think it was a bit of a stressful day at work. So I've decided I'm going to cheer him up. I'm going to be the best girlfriend in the world. And I've got this out. It is the first Baking with Ellie 2023. Can you believe it? And I've got a very, very fitting recipe for our first baking video back. I'm going to do my strawberry and peach crumble. If you're new and you don't know, my strawberry and peach crumble is kind of my signature dish now. It's my speciality and I absolutely adore doing it. I need to create a blog post. I need to create something where I can like show you and write down exactly what ingredients I use and exactly what quantities I use. Because I know I've mentioned a couple of times that I've changed it from the original recipe. So if I've done that already, it will be linked down below. If not, Ellie 
get a move on. This is me speaking to future Ellie. Get a move on, create the blog post because you guys have been asking for the exact recipe and the exact quantities that I use. But I stopped by M&S on the way home to pick up some strawberries. That is the only ingredient that you need that's actually fresh, or they're thinking about it. You could definitely bulk buy the strawberries and put them in the freezer because they don't actually need to be fresh. Other than that, it's all like tinned things and like sugar, flour, everything else that you've just got in the cupboard already. Like this is the definition of a recipe that's just things that you already own, you don't actually need to go out and buy. You could just do it as a peach crumble if you wanted to, if you don't wanna go out and get the strawberries, but Alex loves the peach and the strawberries together. So I'm going to make that for him to cheer my boy up. I think we're gonna have a really lovely, cozy evening in. So first baking with Ellie back in 2023, making my signature strawberry and peach crumble. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front Day in. 